Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. And today, I'm going to be showing you how you can install Windows 7 on Intel Skylake, Coffee Lake, and KB Lake CPUs. So let's get started. So I've opened up CPU-Z here, and as you can see, I'm running the i5-6600. Now this is the Skylake Edition CPU, and the method I'm going to show you today works for the 6600, the 7700, and the 7800 CPUs. So that means both the Skylake architecture, the KB Lake architecture, and the Coffee Lake CPU architecture. So the first thing you want to do is head over to the link in this video's description, and it will bring you to a site called Get Into PC. Now, the reason I put this is you're going to want to have the latest version of Windows 7 to be installed on your computer. Now, I have a disk copy, a fully licensed edition of Windows 7, so I will be using the same license key. I will just be borrowing the ISO from this website here with all the latest updates. So I advise you to just take a look here and look for the edition of Windows 7 that you do have a license for. Now, if you are looking to crack it, I do not condone that, but I recommend looking here for your version of Windows 7. Now, the next link will be very important to setting up our boot ISO. Now, if you were to just create a standard Windows 7 ISO and input it into your system, it will not work. Now, this is because the SATA drivers, the chipset drivers, and the USB drivers are not available natively on the Windows 7 installation. This is because Windows 7 was released in 2010 and hardware for 2017 and 2016 um, is not up to speed with the latest drivers. So you want to download the Asus Easy Installer. And when that's all done, you can head over to your downloads folder. You're going to want to have uh, a good extraction software so you can extract that. And then you want to open the first folder, Asus Easy Installer, and you want to double click Asus Easy Setup. Then open the uh, WinRAR folder again and extract that once more. And then we will pick it up off our desktop here. And then you want to scroll down and double click the EXE that says Asus Easy Installer. Now, this will prompt you to insert your uh, Windows 7 disk, so I'm going to insert mine. Um, like I said, if you did download the latest updated one from uh, getintopc.com, the site I left there, uh, you want to insert that ISO as well. Um, but I'm going to put my latest Windows 7 disk that I own here. So I inserted that into my disk drive and we'll wait for that to come up here in a second. Now we want to select our disk here. So Windows 7 OS, we can either set it to an ISO file if we do want to create a bootable image off of a flash drive instead of a disk. So you'll select next. It'll prompt you to select your source. So either that ISO that we have downloaded or the physical disk itself. So then select next. And then now it'll look for a destination. Now I already have my bootable USB uh, created for Windows 7, so I'm not gonna go ahead and make another one. But uh, all you have to do is insert your USB and select it in my computer and then follow the steps. Now once everything is complete, the entire process can take between 15 minutes to half an hour depending on the speed of your computer itself. So once it all is completed, you can boot from that uh, flash drive or disk that you've inserted. Now you can set this up on any version of Windows. So you can be running 7, 8 or 10 to create the bootable image. And then once you've got the image, you can pretty much load Windows 7 on any supported motherboard or CPU with Skylake, KB Lake or Coffee Lake. So that's it for this video. Be sure to comment, like, share and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.